She's two yards closer. She's at 100 yards exactly. And there, got a little grass in there, but all in all, very nice from there. How about the action on that shot? Jessica Corda could potentially grab a share of the lead. Breaking to her right. Seemed to hit that very firm through the fringe. There you go. Oh, Why wouldn't that's she? the way to get it started. At the 17th, it was a nice day for the young American Angel Yen already, and it was about to get a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, it was 498 yards up a hill, but Angel Yen has the power to get to this green, and wow, what an eagle. And with Chani Michai of Thailand has been playing some good golf. This is her sixth hole of the day, began on nine. Oh, could wow. it be? Wow. <laughs> Top, uh, had a top five finish. Par putt for Creamer at four. Well, an outside look at par. I mean, uphill, breaking to the right. Well, Christy Kerr is looking at this like it's got a chance. Wow. How about that? So the two that hung on the edge at one and two, <laughs> you get it back right there. This is Caitlin Papp, recently turned pro. Mm. Is she going to knock it in? Yeah. Yes, nicely done. He's played in a couple of U.S. Opens already. Just four were played last year because of the, the pandemic. And the fifth, the second shot for Brooke Henderson. Really Kept it in the fairway off the tee, which has been the biggest challenge, but make a longer approach shot in, but wow. Keep an eye on this. What a shot from Brooke. To seven. Nasa Hataoka with her second. He's missed the fairway here. And might get away with it. Watch out, this one could go in. Are we gonna see it too? Yes, it was tracking all the way down that slope. And a nice moment for NASA. Well, we've seen a couple eagles today, three eagles total. And the second for Rose Zhang. She's had just about every type of line imaginable in the rough. Today, this a good one. Pitching wedge, and it has a nice look to it. Yeah, could go in. Could see another one go in. And that should be a birdie for Rose Zhang. Pull a creamer down there. She hit a bit of a wafty t -shirt, second shot to get in that bunker, but there's nothing wacky about this. Do that! Oh, Creamer! I mean, she still has fight, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. She's had some beautiful bunker shots today. Four shot at 18 for Alexandra Swain, amateur. And she actually won the drive, chip, and putt in 2015 for age 14 to 15 girls. It's the leader of this great championship, Mega Gane. Participant in the drive, chip, and putt national finals at Augusta National four times. Lexi just a little bit long at 14. Yeah, this judge that second shot. Long ways, just trying to get the speed right here and leave an easy, easy bar putt. Downhill. So much for bar putt. Get in, Lexi Thompson. This is so fast, Tom. It's like putting down one of the steep streets of San Francisco. And there are a few downtown. Oh, she just run it right in the hole. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe that? Yeah, it is fantastic. So she gets it to two under par. And here is Rose at 17. Yeah, had some problems here. This is a fourth. You can really see how severely sloped that fairway is from left to right in that camera angle. Oh well, she might walk away with a par. That's some shot there. Third shot, sixth hole, you Yulu. Yeah, this should break a little bit from her right to left. About that much. <laughs> what a great chip. That was beautifully done. Very similar to, to the part that Lucy Lee had on the 17th as well. That was a similar kind of thing too. It looked like it was breaking into the hill, which is really tough to, which is really tough to fight mentally when you're standing over those parts. Absolutely, Karen. It's hard to trust 
Oh, look at this. Come oh, on. is this any good? Wow. <laughs> well, I would make that look easy. <laughs> Set at the 17th. This is Rebecca Lee Bentham. Qualifier. She quit tour golf back in 2016, having played on the LPGA tour and has been coaching. That one almost going in. And she says uh, the coaching has kind of inspired her to get back into play. Luna Sabran Galmez, this second at the par three. Flag today on the front of the green. No problem at all for Luna Sabran. She's been playing some, some better golf over the last several months. Had a nice drive to the fairway, just second shot just ran through just a smidge. Seen her chip in before. Hello. <laughs> Do it again. Let's go to the 11th and Georgia Hall. Third. Delicate one from the rough, but looks like she's played it spot on. <laughs> that you will recognize if you've been watching. Our coverage of the women's amateur golf and collegiate golf. Yuka Sasso on the tee at the 13th, going right at it and not far away from knocking it in the hole. Long range birdie putt. And the one that gets very quick. When it goes right at the back <laughs> of the hole. It's a good job it hit the back of the hole there. It slammed in, didn't it? So Celine gets it to two over. And this is Sai Chai Chen, the second player who likes to go by Lorena and I like that too easier for us to pronounce wonderful shot there at the ninth the 21 year old from Chinese Taipei get a beautiful tee shot dead center oh, a little bit below her feet but that's just a wedge a little wedge oh, and control. that will be to tie the lead. This is a fourth shot for Marina Alex. Just chunked a chip, and this a better lie. A mulligan. You'll take the par here any way you can, and that was a beauty. She's a Jersey girl. A rear lefty. She went to Florida State. Turn pro in 2018. Plays a little bit on the L.E.T. and on the Symmetra Tour. And here is Cup Joe on the tee at the 13th. And this is a really good one, and in it goes. A hole-in-one for Jennifer Cup Joe. That's a moment you'll never forget. <laughs> it's congealing to you, my left. you got to eat it. Ali Ewing at 13. Oh, this is close, and another one that's peppered in there. That's going to be a tap-in birdie for Ali. Hyoju Kim, 14. Yeah, shot go in. Oh, man. It's from 119. It's also going to be just a small night iron. Come on. This one much higher, though, Morgan, in ball flight. Second to the seventh. Brittany's from Hawaii. She plays on the Symmetra Tour currently. Oh, is she going to knock it in the hole for us? Not oh. far away. And there's Jenny Shin at the eighth. Six iron. Sensational shot, Jenny Shin. Has to get lucky on the first top here. Oh, she did it really, really well. This could go in. That is world class from Anna Ewing and Eagle at the seventh. But Jerry, I think we take back what we said. <laughs> that wasn't that bad a place to be. What a shot. Well, it's been a real mixed day for Ali Ewing. Look, she only had one par through seven holes. We're at the eighth hole. Playing back up the hill towards the clubhouse. Beautiful hole here today. 
What a shot, Jin Young Ko. This is the third at nine for Allison Lee. Maybe a chance to chip it in, and she does. Got that one absolutely spot on. On a hole that is tricky. And gouged a 55 degree wish to get to this point. Can she make a cheer of her own? It's looking good, Tom. It's looking very good indeed. And Lexi Thompson is on a roll here on Saturday at the U.S. Women's Open. Three birdies on the outward nine. From the left rough, ball above her feet. Decent lie. Going at it hard with a nine iron. Trying to get it to the front. Oh, soft bounce. And it's worked out. Delightful shot. And that should be a birdie for Mega Ghani. It's also from 99 yards, and it's been a really tough day for her so far today. Trying to get this one close for a nice shot of birdie. Oh, she likes it. She loves it. Oh, Three bogeys and a double, but now she's got an eagle two on the card, and Mel Reed trying to fight her way back. I'm comfortable doing that. Got it cleanly. The line is fantastic. Shot. There you go. Really. At the third, it's Celine Herbin. All right. The birdie sandwiching a bogey at the second. One under through three. We've had a couple of players from Thailand win this year on the LPGA Tour. This is young Pajari Ananarukarn. Career best finish a few weeks ago in Kings Mill. And that close to our second ace at the 13th this week. Nasa a chance to go birdie birdie perhaps if she can find the green there. Lucy Lee. At the fourth. Difficult to approach the screen with a low trajectory. But that is how you do it. Just shy of the green and allow it to release today. That whole location all the way in the back. Right Great there. shot. To the third, a birdie attempt for Jong and Lee Six. Four paces off the front of the green. Double breaking putt. Six answers a bogey. Might be just a hair too far right. Good kick. Huge. Wow. Out of position and right back in for Lexi Thompson. And she's a couple of feet away from regaining a five shot lead at the U.S. Women's Open. Should be scary to the rest of the field. Out to the seventh and Tom Abbott. And this is Angel oh, Yin from the rough. Flag today on that back level. And that is tasty. Very tasty. It's a two. And Angel Yin moves to two under par. And you never know what's going to happen on the back nine of the Olympic Club. Still has a chance here at the U.S. Women's Open. Another really good strike. Get in the oh. hole! I mean, that is a U.S. Open in one little shot. Look good. Mm. Your hands full. Here's Jennifer Cupcho. This one's going to be quick, Rich. Go ahead, Jennifer. Do that. What a nice way to finish. This is an eight arm from 149. She's on a downhill line. Has to allow for a bit of a bounce. What a shot, Megan Kang. All right, Celine Urban at 18. Third shot. I 
think that's going to be the last of the fireworks we see <laughs> on the 18th hole today either. What a shot.